What's up guys, in this video I will be showing you how to jailbreak the second generation iPod Touch. I'll be showing you how to do it on Mac in this video, uh, but if you want to see the Windows tutorial, it's in the description. And for you people who did see my Windows jailbreak video and had a lot of problems with it, if you were to follow directions and watch the annotations and actually read them, it would have solved a lot of your problems. If anything went wrong with your device, all you have to do, put it in DFU mode and restore it. It's not that hard. Now this is the tether jailbreak, which means once you have your device jailbroke, if you want to turn it off and turn it back on or reboot, uh, you're going to have to plug it up to your computer, open terminal, and enter in some commands. But it's not hard at all. So let's get on with this video. Alright, so obviously before we get started, we're going to have to download a few things and get everything set up. Uh, the download link is in the video description. It is a pretty big file. Uh, but the reason is for it is a big file is because I put the firmware and everything in it is prepared for you to go and it'll save you a lot of time. Uh, get that downloaded. It'll be a zip file. Just extract it to your desktop and the folder should be named RS Lite. So let's go ahead and open up the Red Snow Lite folder or RS Lite and you see we've got all the stuff here. Uh, there is a readme file. You can go along with this. This will also help you out a lot with entering the commands in and all that. So let's go ahead. If you don't already have libusb installed, you're going to need to open that up and uh, install libusb. I've already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. Also, you're probably going to need to like install this thing where it'll make your computer recognize DFU mode because you're going to be putting your iPod in DFU mode. Uh, if you don't know or don't know anything about that, read the dev team's blog post. There's a link in the description of that. Make sure you check out everything in the description because it will help you a lot. All right, at this point, you're going to need to go ahead and put your iPod into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, here you go. To go into DFU mode, all you have to do, make sure you have your iPod plugged up and hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Release the power button after 10 seconds and keep holding in the home button. You never release the home button. So let's go ahead and start that. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now release the power and we keep holding the home button for at least eight seconds. Alright, so now you've got your iPod in DFU mode. You can close the RS Lite folder now. Uh, and what we're going to do is open up terminal. I'm just going to do a search for it and there it goes. Alright, now we're going to have to enter in some commands. Make sure you read the video description or the readme file. I would recommend reading the readme file because that will give you a lot of steps uh, to help you out. So what we're going to do is start entering in these commands that's in the readme or description. So cd space wavy line <laughs> slash desktop with a capital D slash rs light. And what that does is change it, the drive to your desktop. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, enter dot slash rs light. Okay. Now if you did not put your iPod in DFU mode correctly, it will tell you right here. Now we will enter colon, or not colon, sorry, exclamation point i capital b s s two one one dot d f u okay and then hit enter all right wait a few seconds and then itunes may pop up right here what we're going to do close itunes just quit it quit the process all right um and now what we're going to do dot slash r s light again okay that'll take a second now we're going to type pound pwn two one one ibss.txt and that's what that's going to do is enter some commands you would have to enter all these commands that show up right there uh, on your own but that speeds up the process all right now what we need to do exclamation point i capital bss 221 pwn.dfu hit enter all right now what we need to do is open up itunes okay it'll pop up this time this time you don't want to close it and what we're going to need to do is restore to the custom firmware. Uh, I've already created this for you. Uh, that's why the file is so big, actually. So what you're going to need to do on your Mac, hold Option or Alt and hit the Restore button. All right. Now you're going to need to find your RS Lite folder. And you will see in the folder, 221pwn.ipsw. That's the firmware you need to restore to. Select that. Double click on it. And now what we're going to need to do is letter iPod Restore. And I will come back when that's done. Okay, so once it's done restoring, your iPod will not pop up in iTunes. That is perfectly fine. It's not supposed to. What you're going to need to do, go ahead, quit iTunes, and then you're going to need to put your iPod in DFU mode. Uh, we did that before, so you should know how to do that. Once you've got it in DFU mode, uh, go back to Terminal, and what you're going to need to do is go ahead and start entering in some commands. So let's go ahead and start off with dot slash RS Lite, and then hit Enter. Alright, and if you didn't put it in DFU mode correctly, it will tell you here. Now, 
exclamation point I capital B S S two one one dot D F U. Okay. Executing. Alright, there we go. And now we gotta enter dot. Okay, sorry, iTunes pops up. Close it. Or quit it, sorry. Quit iTunes. And then dot slash RS light. Again. Okay, let it do that. Now we need to enter pound pwn two one one IBSS dot txt and the I, and the BSS is not capitalized this time and then hit enter. All right, it will do that. Next, hit exclamation point I capital BSS two two one pwn dot dfu and then hit enter. You are almost done. iTunes is going to pop up again. Let's go ahead quit it again. And now we will enter dot slash rs light again and hit enter all right let it finish all right and then you are really on the last step exclamation point i capital b and then boot okay i boot 221 pwn dot img3 and then hit enter and then there you go you should see the apple logo on your ipod uh, and it should start turning back on and you will get this connect iTunes logo. All you have to do to do this, open up iTunes and uh, set it up as a new iPod. Okay, mine's popping up now. Just hit select set up as new iPod. You do not want to restore to a backup. Sync everything manually because I've heard restoring to a backup causes you problems. You will have Cydia, uh, not installer. I will make a video soon on how to get uh, installer. Now, let's say you had to turn your iPod off uh, or reboot it when you're installing something from Cydia. Uh, this is what's going to happen. We're going to need to go up into terminal, make sure your iPod's plugged up, and we're going to have to enter in some commands again. Go ahead, have your iPod in DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, I explained to you earlier. Okay, if iTunes pops up after you're in DFU mode, quit iTunes. All right, now we need to start entering in some commands. Uh, go ahead, do the CD uh, squiggly line slash capital D for desktop, and then slash RS light and hit enter. All right, now we need to enter dot slash RS light again. All right, and then it should say your iPod's in DFU mode. All right, now we need to do just as we did before. Uh, exclamation point I, capital B, SS, 211 dot DFU. All right, now what you need to do, if iTunes pops up like it always does, quit iTunes. And then you type in dot slash RS light again. Okay, let it connect. All right, and now we need to enter in pound, pwn, 211ibss.txt and hit enter. It'll enter in its commands for you, and then you're going to hit exclamation point ibss221 pwn.dfu. Hit enter. iTunes pops up again. Quit it. Alright, dot slash rs light. Okay, let it connect, and now we're on the last step. Exclamation point I boot with a capital B two two one pwn dot image three and then hit enter and there you go your iPod should be rebooting that's how you reboot your iPod now I hope this worked out well for you uh, as long as you follow instructions everything should work just perfectly um, if you're having any problems I will update the video description thanks for watching guys if this video helps you please rate five stars and favorite. Also, make sure you subscribe for a lot of tutorials on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Visit tiesiphonehelp.com for all of your iPhone and iPod Touch needs, news, and more. Link in the video description. Have fun with your jailbroken iPods.